when I moved into this house in 2016, one of the very first trees I planted that summer was the Southern Magnolia. And it was, you know, Home Depot special, not labeled, uh, but we're going on five years and I wanted to just talk about how much it's grown. And uh, I think that this is probably a little gem. Uh, Home Depot here this year, they had a bunch of um, Southern Magnolias and they actually were labeled for the first time. So the ones that we seem to get here are Little Gem, K. Paris and Victoria, and they're all smaller growing varieties. So, you know, 20, 25 feet, that sort of thing. And because we don't, we get hot in the summer, but we got cool nights and we don't have the humidity. So I don't think that they grow nearly as quickly here as they do in the South, you know, where they're native to. You know, I was down in Mississippi and things like that and the trees down there were massive, unbelievable. But this one I've had for five years. I am not joking. So when I bought this, you can see that fence line and it was, when I planted it, it was just above the fence. So I would say, if I were to, I would say less than one foot per year. Um, it did get weighed down by the ice storm this year, so the branches used to be more upright. The reason I bought this particular one is because it had branches top to bottom. And when you see these growing kind of like in a natural setting, they'll almost grow almost like a Christmas tree, and almost like a pyramidal form. Um, these, you can see this one, I mean, it's way down here. That used to be up more, but five years. And it has not grown that much. I mean, it, it hasn't, it hasn't. I mean, it was just kind of a stick. So I'm going to get in here. And the trunk actually is, is getting, problem when you have a jungle garden, is getting quite thick. This was just, you know, your regular kind of little stick tree from Home Depot. Um, so it is getting quite a bit of thickness to it. D it does, it is, uh, decided to send up new shoots from all along the branches here where because um, when this got these pulled down there's more sunlight so it's sending up new shoots you can kind of see this branch here I'm probably gonna have to start trimming some of these back but not a quick grower not in our climate the best flower for me this one and I will show you the seed pods these are big red ones you could like knock someone out with these things they're so heavy but five years on that's uh what you can expect so i mean it's probably almost as wide as it is tall at this point no joke uh it, it's got to be about 10 feet wide about 10 feet tall so but when i first planted it, it wasn't quite that coppery and the copper color has been coming um, more so with time and i have another one that was all green and now it's developing the copper but so five years pacific northwest you can expect about a foot of height overall height and about a foot of overall width but nice glossy green leaves and it looks great year-round anyway thanks for watching